This week, we're putting our baking skills to the test. We're going to bring you a different cookie creation every day, or biscuit creation. Cookie's better. I know, but yes, cookie. Okay, yes. let's go with cookie. Um, helping us out today is cookbook author Annika Manning. Welcome to the show, Annika. Lovely Thank to you. see you. Uh, what are we going to do today? We're going to make some jam drops today. So, mm -hmm. yeah. my, this brings me back to my childhood. My mum would make them, my nan would make them. I They're... reckon your mum would have made the best jam drops. <laughs> yes, drop. probably not quite as good as nan's, but no. mum's oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, how can we help? So, what we've done here is we've just got some butter, sugar, vanilla that we've um, beaten or creamed. I've just added some um, plain flour, baking powder and some uh, custard powder and a little bit of milk. So really easy one to whip up. Custard Great one to powder. make. Custard powder. And custard powder tends to be the kind of, that's my little twist secret on jam drops. Yeah. The secret ingredient. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to mix them in. We ca could use the um, mix master to do this too or noisy. just quickly. Too noisy. Too noisy. Too noisy. Yep. Yeah, but good in your own kitchen. Okay. Mix those in and what we're going to do is just make a dough. See how that's just coming together in a dough now. Mm -hmm. Is this the and secret to a jam drop a good dough though? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So creaming. So what I'm going to get you to do, Carly, you get mm -hmm. about a tablespoon Thank of you. mixture and then we're just going to roll them into balls. Beautiful. And then we we'll might get, oh, yes, oh, go I'll do one too. Yep. And then we'll get oh. Larry to, we're going to just flatten them slightly. So you yep. want, And then we want to make little oh. holes in them. So you can flatten them to about yep. like that. a centimetre. Yeah. Yep. How do you get and the hole? Then hole, you can either use your finger. Or you, can use use your finger or you can use a wooden no, spoon. No, no, no. What would bear grills do? <laughs> You'd use a finger in the well, yes, finger. Yeah, I'll use the wooden yeah. spoon. Go. And then you make oh, oh, a little sorry, bit of a hole a bit in too it. Much pressure there, yeah. And these the hole expands, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does mm. a little bit, but it's always good to make a reasonable size hole so you've got enough jam in there to I, to um, to make them really. Yeah, and then delicious. you just put jam in. And then jam, and we've got a little bit of a selection. You can really just about half a teaspoon of jam. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's I, way too much. Do you know much. what I do? That's, oh, oh, I'm that's so awful. Sorry. I had one job. So we a juice, strawberry, <laughs> apricot, and look like. And that's cherry. But cherry. you could use blueberry or blackberry, yeah. anything that what, you know. Like. Carly, fancy. can I get you to taste this and okay. compare it to Nan's <laughs> and Mum's? I'm sure, yes. Well, I'll have to say it's. You have to try the little apricot one. All right. Oh, these are great. Old school. Well, the old school, that's right. Very old school. Young, thank but you. But old fashioned mm -hmm. and perfect. And winner in the every jar time. looks great too as yeah. a present. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh, can you speak or not? No. no. What, <laughs> what, you mean generally in my career? No. You can, you can find the. Can you do it? Yeah, you can find the recipe for these yummy jam drops on our website. And for more from Annika, make sure you grab a copy of her book. It is called Bake Class. Thanks, Annika. Thanks, Annika. Thank you.